Be another nice day for us. Uh, it's going to be kind of a split weekend, so we're going to have nice weather today and then rain for your Sunday. So let's enjoy what we have to do Saturday outdoors, especially because Sunday looks to be more of a movie day with those showers returning. But of course, if you're looking for something to do on this Saturday, I always recommend going for a drive. Uh, we have really nice spots here across the Tennessee Valley from the Ecoe up to Fall Creek Falls down into Cloudland Canyon in Northwest Georgia. So you can get more views like this, and this is Lee Pike in Saudi. Daisy sent in by Brooks and Tola. So of course, thank you for that photo. Continue to send those in, especially as we continue with the peak leaf peeping season here across the Tennessee Valley. But if you are heading out on this Saturday, a little bit on the chilly side, it's 46 in Chattanooga, 49 in Nashville. But notice that warm air is starting to surge to our south and west. In fact, Fort Payne now at 54. But if you drive to Murphy, it's 35. So kind of a tale of two seasons feels more like winter in Cherokee County. Well, it's more of a mid fall morning in Fort Payne with temperatures in the 50s, but you probably need a jacket in many locations as you head out on this Saturday. But later today, it's going to be nice upper 60s to lower 70s with increasing clouds going to be quite on the mild side. And then going into your Sunday, we're going to be tracking our next weather maker. So this is already bringing some pretty heavy rain to parts of Arkansas and Louisiana, and this low pressure is kind of going to track into the Ohio Valley, and that's going to bring in that moisture to the Tennessee Valley as we go into your Sunday. Monday and early Monday morning. They're not going to be a washout, but we're certainly going to have those showers around. And as we track it out for you again, your Saturday looking good, quite a bit of cloud cover. And then late tonight into early Sunday morning, those showers start to move into the area. Not necessarily going to be a really heavy rain, more of a light, steady rain throughout the day on Sunday. And there will be breaks, but it does look like we'll have a pretty good coverage of rain throughout the day on Sunday, continuing into the evening hours and then going into the overnight as well. Notice some of those light showers kind of hang on and then by Monday morning some of that starts to move off to the northeast and eventually throughout the day on Monday we're going to dry out and of course Monday is Halloween so it looks like the trick-or-treat forecast is looking pretty good but for your future cast rainfall amounts through Monday morning generally speaking I'm thinking right around a half of an inch. There could be a couple of areas that overachieve maybe three quarters of an inch, but it doesn't like we're going to have a ton of heavy moisture with this. So rainfall amounts are generally going to be on the lighter side, but any rain is going to help, especially with those drought conditions continuing to expand across the Tennessee Valley. And as for the severe threat, there's no dark greens, no yellows, no oranges. That means no severe threat with this, but that light green does indicate the chance for some thunderstorms. So there could be a rumble of thunder or two throughout the day on Sunday. Day, but as far as the severe threat, we're looking good in that department. And as for your drought monitor, again, this new monitor came out on Thursday and severe drought has now taken over pretty much all of Hamilton and northern Bradley McMinn into Monroe counties, moderate drought for the rest of the area. So any rain that we pick up on Sunday is going to be much needed because we are still running that two inch deficit for the month of October. Still a yearly surplus. Again, we had a lot of rain at the beginning of the year, but it's been pretty dry over the last two months. So hopefully we can squeeze out some good moisture on Sunday. But if you are heading out and about on this Saturday, things are looking good. 70 mostly cloudy tonight 57 mostly cloudy as well and we're going to have those few showers kind of developing overnight and continuing on and off throughout much of the day on Sunday. So it is going to be pretty wet. Kind of one of those dreary days where you might want to have, you know, a Halloween movie day on Halloween Eve and then going into actual Halloween. Things are looking you know, pretty good. Temperatures right around 70. A few showers in the morning. Trick or treating looking a lot better though as we dry out Monday evening. And then we'll be talking sunshine and 70s all next week, Angela. All right, so kiddos can get up.